This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Hello. Okay. Good morning. One, multiple things. I swear I need glasses sometimes. That's it. It's, it's my thought. Oh. I don't know why I feel so tired. 8.53 and I literally like just woke up. I don't know, but I'm about to start getting ready for the gym. This smells more burnt than it does like vanilla bean Noel. Where is my to-do list? Switching it up. Got an accelerator. Can't tell if my lips are chapped or they're starting to do what they did. Oh God, when was that? Is that august if you guys watched some of my vlogs in august i uh woke up every single morning to my lips swollen like five times their size i am going to step on this for a little bit watch some youtube that's also part of my morning routine okay guys it is truly now or never i need to go to the gym even though i really I don't feel like it. We're going to go anyway. Okay, I'm grabbing all of my stuff. It's time to go to the gym. I'm gonna, just not gonna, it's not gonna be a good day. So we have to go now. Motivation is severely lacking today. Okay, it's one o'clock. I need to film my video and start editing it. I'm so tired. I'm feeling so sluggish today, but I'm about to put some makeup on. I think I'm just gonna try to put my hair in like a cute bun attempt that and film this video and then I'm literally changing into pajamas and sitting in bed and then probably taking a nap after the video is done. Okay guys, I just got done filming the 23 favorite books of 2023. I'm about to change and start editing it. This is the reality. If you guys watched that video, this is the reality. Party on the top, comfy on the bottom. Most of the time when I do sit down videos, this is what's happening. But I'm about to change and then start editing that video. There's a nap in my future. I can't tell you last time I've taken a nap. I haven't the whole entire time that I'm, I've been sick, I haven't taken a nap and I need one desperately today. So that is what I'm going to do. I just got another package delivered and I think after I'm done and taking a nap, I'm going to wrap some other gifts that I need to wrap and then I'm going to clean my room. That's what we're looking at today. Why is Charlie looking so suspicious right now? We can unbox her bark box before we start. Oh, she knows what that means. She knows what that word means, y'all. That's why she's looking at me now. Oh, it's a little Snoopy. Oh, oh my gosh. That is so, here, sit, sit. Good girl, oh, oh, I know, you're excited, I know. Oh, it's a little Snoopy, here you go, babe. Oh my gosh, happiness is a warm puppy, and this is good grief. Oh, candy cake cookie, because your dog's on the nice list. She's definitely licking her lips in anticipation for this. You want it? You wanna give me a call? Give me a call. Thank you, here you go. There we go. She loves those little treats that are in there, but now I'm gonna sit down in my bed and edit so i'll see you guys later it is almost eight o'clock and i finished editing my video a little bit ago and i just watched it through and make sure everything's good before i post it which i need to do the thumbnail right now but i also while i was watching it i finished wrapping the last few gifts these are literally all ibex anyway but those are like the i think those are no well, I have like a few more things that are coming in the mail, actually. So these aren't the last of them, but they were the last of his. And that was like really on the forefront of my mind to get wrapped. I usually go down to Isaac's house. So honestly, Isaac doesn't really come over to my house and definitely doesn't like come hang out in my room. He, does, he just doesn't come over here, but he was up here. So he was like, oh yeah, can I stay the night with you? Whatever. And I was like, of course, whatever. And then as he said that, I had like some of his presents that were unwrapped like right when he said he was coming over and keep in mind I have been sick I'm still sick I right now I'm feeling like absolute garbage so I was like 
okay, whatever, I'm just in bed. And then he's like saying that he's here. And I had his like unwrapped presents. Like some of them are wrapped, some of them aren't. And I had them out because I completely like, you know, like I never think that he's going to come here. So, cause he never does. So I just have them sitting out in the open with everybody else's stuff. And I like shoved them in the closet. And I was like, he isn't going to be coming back over. Literally, there's only, oh my gosh, there's literally just this weekend. Is that right? Yeah. Isn't it just like this weekend coming up? And then that next weekend is Christmas. So really it's just one more like weekend. And then when I come over, it's we're going to be opening the gifts because it's going to be Christmas. Oh, nice of you to join us. So I just wrapped those. So I haven't cleaned my room yet. I need to do that. I have no motivation because I feel like absolute crap right now. So I'm actually going to sit and just kind of like lay down for a sec. Um, Just kind of relax. And then I'm going to get to cleaning my room. And, or maybe I might edit and then tomorrow I might clean my room because my room doesn't bother me as much when I can turn the lights off at night. So I might just clean it tomorrow. Let's put up these gifts under the tree. But this is what the tree's looking like so far this year. We have a few more things to add, but other than that, this is the tree all looking like. That is making me all holly and jolly. I love looking at the Christmas tree, Christmas presents wrapped under it let me know down below because i'm very curious about this if growing up you guys were the type that like all throughout december if you did christmas like if there were presents under the tree or if you were somebody that you woke up on christmas morning and then the presents were under the tree i woke up in that type of house where it was like you wake up and then there are presents under the tree which i personally like my family still does that and i just think that there's something so magical about that you know like you go to sleep you wake up and there's something under the tree but i like for other people i think that when i get a house there's going to be like the decorative tree where like as you get presents for people you put it under but like the tree you wake up on christmas morning and it has the presents under because i also like the just seeing presents under the tree. I don't know, it makes me feel holly and jolly. That's what's going on. I'm about to make my thumbnail and lay down because I have a massive headache and I just kind of want to lay down. Hello everybody, just cutting in to talk about today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. You know, I talk about Squarespace all the time and it's because I genuinely believe and really, really love them. Especially if you guys are for the new year wanting to set up your own like online vlog, online retail, online shop, you're wanting to run your business off a website, Squarespace is guaranteed the easiest way to go. They offer so many different templates for you guys to use and it's very user friendly, very easy. You just scroll through the templates, choose one. You can customize it really any way that you want. As well as when you are running a business, a blog, analytics are always very helpful to look at and scheduling if you are like running a business from that side of things. And Squarespace offers all of these different data and analytics for you guys to use to make everything as simple and easy and seamless as possible. Also for someone like me, if you like the blog format style they have where you can link all of your different social media and definitely use that blogging feature to create a sense of community where people can share comment back to each other and you just really transform it into a community with squarespace's blogging features and tools so if you guys are interested in any of this you guys can head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you guys are ready to launch you guys can go to squarespace.com slash destiny sidwell to get 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain as always thank you so much again to squarespace for sponsoring today's video let's get back into the vlog but today we're gonna try to have a productive day we need to have a productive day so here is kind of what i need to do in a little bit of a checklist so i'm about to take like a body shower i just got home from the gym clean my room and a kind of subtext of that is to also ship out the things that i'm sending as gifts for the people who don't live around me and while i go ship those out i need to like clean my car out vacuum it and do all of that and then after all of that i need to sit down and edit so we have a pretty much very busy and productive day but i just got back from the gym so i'm gonna take a quick shower throw my hair up put some makeup on and then go out and ship the stuff first because honestly this is where parts of my anxiety are annoying because just the thought of like going into the store to like get the stuff shipped is like making me stress out i just need to go do it so let's take a shower get ready go out okay i'm all ready i threw on some makeup my hair is not agreeing with me i feel like i actually have to like do it because any other like thing that i try to do with my hair just not working with me anyway i'm about to go and ship these packages 
and run a few errands and then we're gonna come back and clean my room three packages to ship i'm hoping that i can expedite them because i wanted them to be there honestly like early december but then i just kept on putting off shipping them out because i'm actually the worst and it gives me anxiety to think about going and shipping stuff so now i'm actually gonna make myself do it today okay guys i am back from running my errands i vacuumed out my car got the boxes shipped so now i'm about to get to picking up and cleaning my room and honestly it shouldn't take me a long time because it's not like a deep clean it's just like a pick some things up and so i'm going to do that that way i feel like i can finally work and focus because i feel like my bed's unmade so then you know sitting in my bed and editing is just not a good thing even though it's most comfortable just not a good thing and then i look around my room and it's like a really big mess and i'm just like i can't really focus so i'm gonna throw the headphones on i think i'm gonna listen to some music i'm in a music mood i'm either in a music podcast or audiobooks mood right now i'm in a music mood so i'm gonna listen to my music and pick up my room I actually just started listening to Crescent City House of Earth and Blood because I remembered that I have the audiobook that I bought the audiobook last year around this time when I read this and obviously since the third book is coming out I wanted to reread the books but they're like very because they're like very complicated uh political wise to like remember what's going on so I've been listening to that also because Sarah is reading these right now for the first time and I want to like be reading them with her so as I cleaned I got to listen to it and i'm actually really really enjoying listening to it i think i also might just try to listen to the audiobook of house of sky and breath because sometimes i feel like with audiobooks it puts information in my mind better so i think i'm just gonna listen to those but i had a few boxes that i didn't open of stuff that i have first of all i got sent this book which is treacherous by chloe walsh this is another one of her series that i've been wanting to start her other series in 2024 so this is the carter kids this is book one and thank you so much from tristan who sent me this book if you're watching thank you so much that is so sweet of you and i really have been looking at these her other series to see if i would like them so i'm excited to start that one and then also i got this package and for some reason i thought this was like another present that i'd ordered so i was going to wrap it i opened it and it's actually from my management look at how cute this is from my manager i absolutely love my manager i'm going to pin this to my wall you guys know every time i get a sweet note i pin it to my wall i'm going to do that this is so cute it's like table rock mountain rock so cute it's a little beanie oh my gosh this is so cute it's like a little sherpa pullover oh for like that is so this is so cute it says california usa table rock and then you put these little stickers on there look at that i feel like that has made it look even more cute like this is giving like rustic that like cabin vibes which i think is the vibe that they were trying to go with with this and it is so cool so thank you so much for that i am absolutely in love with that package i have to start editing my vlog that is what needs to be done for the rest of the day but i feel a lot better like in the environment of my room because i picked everything up so i feel a lot better about it so i'm about to sit down and start editing for the next few hours it's three o'clock that's it's gonna take me hours upon hours to do but we have some stuff on the to-do list done so i'm happy about that watch something in the back i wish i could listen to my audiobook while i edit but i can't like focus on the audiobook like i need to so hopefully later i can have some time to listen to my audiobook oh, oh my gosh guys uh. i ate dinner it is now like nine it's almost 10 o'clock at night and i uploaded my vlog book miss is officially over that is crazy that that chapter of my life for this year is done can i tell you guys 
it is absolutely insane that this year is already over and in some ways i feel like this year was very long when i think back to like for example for my birthday this year when i went to san diego that feels like last year like I, that doesn't even feel like that's happened in this year and even when i think of like the first time that i met up with like sarah and Haley, that doesn't even feel like this year but then in the same thought process to me it feels like this year has flown by i feel like some things were just yesterday um so the year's almost over that's insanity to me like literally this like in two weeks is gonna be christmas which i honestly kind of feel sad so i'm hoping that with vlogmas i get to do more like christmas activities and christmasy feeling things because it just doesn't feel like christmas at all to me and christmas is literally my favorite time of year not weather wise but like the feeling of christmas it's my favorite thing ever like i love gift giving and i love the feeling of the festive season and the cute lights everywhere and the cute decorations like i just love it it's very cozy like the months of september to like through december are so cozy to me and i love it and then january and february and even march are just depressing april things start to look up a little bit but it's still cold but you want to know what something that i want to do this year is i want to still romanticize like january february march like even though it is kind of cold and dreary like make it feel cozy make it feel very homey and like you know dress cute go out and still like try to find some things to do i really want to try to do that this year because life doesn't have to suck winter doesn't have to suck as much as you do it if you try to put in the extra effort to make it a little bit better as somebody with just already depression <laughs> seasonal depression makes it 100 times worse i'm just really thinking about things because look miss is over i'm like okay it's the 12th like it's already the 12th insane like that this year's already over and then you kind of start looking back on like what your goals were going into this year what you want to do in the next year and i do think that it's good to have goals like obviously like having goals in your life is always a good thing sometimes i feel like you focus too much on like let me make sure that there are like these goals that i'm actively working towards like even just like a little thing for example for me is like a reading goal you know you throughout the whole entire year you're constantly thinking of it am i on track with my reading goal blah 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 just enjoy your life you know like just read what you want enjoy what you want make stuff that you love because recently this video clip from like i don't know if it was from a movie or something that eddie murphy did and in it he talks about how like you only have really most of the time you only have like 75 years so you have like 75 spring 75 summer 75 fall 75 winters and then you know like that's all you get just wasting time on things that just really don't matter as much as you think that they do i don't know i just really really been thinking about stuff lately and like things that you want to do for the new year but i always say this you don't have to wait until january 1st to make life changes it's like nice to do like a measurable thing new year's resolutions don't have to be new year's resolutions they can be mid-year resolutions they can be quarter of the way through the year resolutions they can be tomorrow resolutions you know what i mean you can really change your life and start whenever you want to and your life is your life whatever goals you want with your life and how you want your life to look is your life live it the way that you want to to the best of your capability I don't know why i've just been thinking about that but it's like 10 o'clock and i'm about to start editing the jersey vlog that's the vlog that i'm editing right now my goal is to rough cut the entire thing if i still feel like staying up after that then i might do some intricate editing i'm gonna start editing this and then i'm gonna go to go to bed okay i've washed my face i have isaac's live on my phone and now i'm gonna take you guys through my night routine my night routine being literally just whatever i'm doing i get up brush my teeth wash my face and then i have my lip mask on and then the next thing that i do because i've been really loving to do this lately this is oh i just love we just need to take a second first and foremost to look at my tree with the gifts wrapped under it at night i literally love it so much this and then looking at my like garland and stuff that makes me feel truly Christmassy. We unplug this. Aw, look at how cute she is. Uh, grabbing my two different blankets. She hates blankets being on her, but anyway. Then we go over here. Boom. Unplug that. Okay, this is not my best lighting. This is not. This vlog is coming to an end. I literally have my hair in a braid. This is how I sleep every night. I put my hair in a braid. After we've moisturized and brushed my teeth, I have Go More Girls on the laptop, and I'm going to unwind 
with continuing the book that I started last night. This is honestly, honestly, because since I did the 12 days of Bookman, for the rest of the month, I don't feel any like pressure, for lack of a better word, of like the books that I'm reading to be like for a video or like needing to be filming when I'm reading. So I've been enjoying literally just like sitting in my bed for like an hour or so at night, just reading like the most random books. But the other day when I uploaded my 23 favorites of, uh, books of 2023 i was talking about behind the net and then somebody told me that it had a second book and it's called the fake out and i am reading that right now and i'm 30 percent into it so i'm going to continue reading that as i watch gilmore girl if you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you guys did you guys know what to do like comment subscribe i'll let youtube stuff you guys know how to do i'll let you guys go and i'll see you guys tomorrow when i see you